All right, welcome back to the Ergodox assembly. All right, all the key switches have been soldered, and um, I do see a problem with this one in the center. When it's pressed down, it doesn't come back up. So um, all the other keys seem perfectly fine. I don't know when or how that happened. I don't know if it was something I did, or maybe it just happened to be a defective key. I wasn't looking for that, so it's a possibility it was like that when I pulled it out of the box. So I'm going to take it out and do a repair. It looks like switch number See if that's good enough to get it out. Grab one, two of some pliers. The switch is bad, so I'm not too worried about it. About damaging it, pulling it out. Plus, I have a bunch more. But it's not coming out. Um, looks like I got all the solder. Let's see if I can push it out. Okay, that's an easier way to get it out, push it out. Yeah, I don't know, I just think it was a bad one. Just double check, see that one looks good. Still looks good. Oh, well, oh, interesting, once I got it in there, it did the same thing. So something, something about this particular slot is causing it to do that. I wonder what it is. Maybe some extra plastic over here in the corner or something. There's a, there's a little bit of extra plastic in the corner. So I'll just pull that out and see if that makes a difference. You know, I think that's what it was. Um, there was a little bit of extra plastic in the corner of the printed part there, and I think it was causing the uh, switch to bow. Oh well, that should be good now. good. Yeah, all the rest of the switches look perfectly fine. There's something weird about that one. All right. Well, that only took three minutes, so let's go ahead and move on. Now that should be all the soldering. So here's the bottom plate. You know, the, the board will actually just fit inside of this, of this bottom plate, so it might have to be pressed in a little bit like that. Good. All right, and then the top plate just sort of rests on top. And now I have um, some rubber feet here that I'm using. And um, I might have these available for sale on my website. I'm not quite sure yet, but they're just standard rubber feet. And the way I had planned on, on installing these is I was going to put um, the M3 nuts inside the hole on, the, on this side like that on all of these and make the nut side the bottom since the, the tops of these stainless steel bolts actually look kind of cool. So, so I'll just drop that through, or push it through actually. Yeah, see I, I like that a lot better than a nut sitting to the top. 
Also, I mean, you know, I already had M3 bolts because I do a lot of riprap stuff. But um, you might want to get a low profile. You can get these with a lower profile head if you want it to lay lower. Also, you could modify this file and make an, an indent or a countersink for the head of the bolt too. So it sits down farther. So it's flush on the top. Actually, now that I think about it, I wish I had done that. Oh well. So then I can take that part and has to be pressed down a little further for it to start grabbing on. And actually, there's a piece of rubber in there. I'm just going to do it finger tight for right now, but um, I should probably take an Allen key and tighten it down a little bit more on the other side. I've seen this should work out pretty well. And I only need rubber feet on probably just five of the corners, the five corners. Put this aside for a sec and just get these nuts pressed in on all these first. Now I printed these parts out of PLA, and PLA is fairly is fairly rigid. I'm actually realizing right now that I bet I probably don't even need the additional bolts because one goes here, one set goes here, and another goes here. But actually feels pretty good. Kind of almost wishing that um, it hadn't put holes there. I also don't know what these holes are for either. Like there's holes in the bottom. These are just the original um, Lexan that I modified, but I didn't realize I probably didn't need all these extra holes and things. But I'll go ahead and put bolts in here anyway. Of course, the bolt right here is probably... Yeah, that probably wouldn't matter right there. So I don't need pads for these two, though. one of them and uh, I'll go ahead and put start putting the keycaps on or actually I think what I'll do is um, <clears throat> see by the way see if you want to see both sides um, I think I'll go ahead and actually assemble the right hand side and then um, and then do the keycaps I already put um, the right hand side in the container here. So, okay. So it goes together pretty easily. Just 
snap in just like the other side. Just realized I should probably test the teensy before I actually assemble this, but that's right. So I don't know for sure if I got those wires correct. But based on the information I could find on the internet, um, I'm about 80% sure that they're correct. And this isn't too hard to undo anyway. These parts might have printed out just slightly thicker than the other side. These are a little harder to get, get started. I bet it is because the plates turn out just slightly thicker. Or actually, this isn't really sandwiched together perfectly well either, so that could be part of it. But they are going. Just takes a little bit more work than the other side. Cool. Pressing too hard right at the beginning. I do actually have longer bolts. Longer bolts would probably work just fine. <laughs> I 
<laughs> oh, I have an idea. Let me, uh, let me do this one. Maybe it'll help compress a little bit. And this one. So I only have these two two left and Actually, I did get it threaded there. For a second. I might just go get longer bolts on that. This is getting kind of irritating. sort of my fault for trying to get this to work with bolts that are just long enough. It'd be so much easier if I just got bigger bolts. 30 millimeter would only be a little bit longer too. So I think I'll do that, but I'll save that for later. All right. <clears throat> So, excellent. All that's left is the keycaps. I'm going to go get a uh, 30 millimeter bolt to finish that one off. <clears throat> and then all that's left is the keycaps, and I'll connect the cabling, and then I will have a uh, final video with the software so we can get this finalized. Almost done. I'm getting excited about this. Can't wait to try out this keyboard. Almost there. Thanks for watching.